right, uh, my name is Sean Francisco. I'm talking about um, Drexler's book, The Engines of Creation, Chapter 7, uh, which deals with engines of healing. Um, so, he first starts off by um, talking about two different types of modern medicine. Um, we have surgery and then we have drug therapy. Um, so surgery is more, um, it's more specific, so you're able to get to more specific locations, you're able to have a specific um, impact in a, a specific area of the body. Um, and it's um, effective in that way, but it is often um, very unwieldy and it's difficult to get very um, detailed work um, when you get down on the microscopic level. Um, this is where drug therapy comes in. So drug therapy, um, just drugs in the body, you either inject them or you ingest them or you take them in some other way. Um, and they go through the bloodstream and they'll attach to whatever um, substance is kind of available. So it's a lot less um, regulated, it's a lot less um, specific, if you will. Um, but they do work on a more um, microscopic level. Um, so he talks about the, the theory or the definition of holism. Um, which, uh, uh, this is a quote from his book, uh, it says, the theory, the reality is made up of organic or unified wholes um, that are greater than the simple sum of their parts. So the, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Um, this is something that um, scientists are still trying to understand, something, um, they're looking at how cells work together. Um, one example is the immune system and how um, the cascade effects, you know, like the different uh, molecules, um, enhancing other molecules, um, and so um, that's that's a major theme in this chapter, uh, talking about holism. Okay. Um, another theme that he talks about after the theme of holism is thinking machines. Um, it's something that um, this is another quote from this book. I thought this was really interesting. Um, it says, "Just as some people feel uncomfortable with the idea of machines thinking." So some feel uncomfortable with the idea that machines underlie our own thinking. So um, it's kind of looking back at the definition of what a machine really is. Um, there's a lot of biological machines and biological um, things, effects that are be happening in our brains. Um, and so those are technically machines, um, but we don't necessarily think of them as such. Um, all right, so he talks about a lot about cell repair machines. Uh, and these are um, a combination of a tools, a computer, and a vehicle. So um, you need mobility in order to get to a specific part of the body. Um, you need a computer to be able to analyze and parts what's going on in the situation and be able to um, have a unique um, response. And so then the tools are able to actually provide the effect. They're actually able to administer the, uh, the medicine or administer the uh, repairs that are needed in the body. Um, and then finally, um, there are two types of um, effects that could happen from this. So the effect that is happening right now is um, when we are, or when me medical professionals are looking at a specific cell, they're looking more at preserving its function. So preserving its functionality, um, its ability to continue to work, um, rather than, are these things the same thing? Sorry. Uh, rather than looking at its structure and being able to fix um, the, the deep structures inside of the cells um, and able, being able to um, regenerate the, the structures that are happening in the cells. And this is not something that's happening currently right now, um, but it's something that he talks about as a future um, method. Um, a couple of other things that he mentioned in the chapter um, that dealt with modern medicine um, were the selective destruction of cells, so specifically in cancer, uh, being able to find and eliminate specific cells, you know, bringing a, a machine in to do the actual um, eliminating right there in the body. Um, he also talks about regeneration of damaged cells, uh, like nerve cells, being able to get into the deep structures and being able to um, change the, the way that that is functioning. Um, and then also talks about biostasis, which is something that we talked about earlier today. Just being able to put the body into a, a resting or a resting metabolic rate that's low enough to be able to support um, a long-term um, effect like that. So those are the things that were in each chapter. Um, so yeah. You guys have
have any questions? What was your what interests you the most in that area? Um, I really like the part where we talked about cancer and uh, how the specific machines can get to a specific part of the body because that's a big deal uh, with cancer treatment right now is that they don't have a specific way to get to um, hard to reach locations, hard to reach areas in the, in the body, um, but being able to use nanotechnology to get into those hard to reach areas like in the brain or something like that, where surgery and drug therapy really are options, uh, is really interesting. So you, do you think death is good or bad? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting quote there about how we are machines from a Drexler point of view, right? That um, our thinking is all made up foundationally of machine type interactions at a molecular level going on. Whether we want to believe that or not, um, you know, it seems to be the case. Yes. Right. Other questions for John? Did he stay in his time limit? Yep. All right. <laughs>